domain functional levels are different ways by which you can activate uh, different types of new features in Windows Server. So we're currently on Windows Server 2019. Let's check. So as you can see, we have Windows Server 2019. Currently, run, currently running on this uh, computer so if we want to raise the functional level uh, there are two ways to do that the first way to is to go into your forest uh, let me expand this go into your forest and right click right click on the forest name and there are different options here. so one of the options is raise domain functional level or uh, if you click on this this is the GUI method by which you can check your domain functional level whether it's very high or whether it's very low so currently I am using Windows Server 2008 all right and if you look in this drop down there are other functional level that I can raise my server into so if i wanted to raise it to let's say windows server 2008 r2 i would just select that and then i will click on raise okay and then i will receive this message raising domain functional level this change affects the entire domain after you raise the domain functional level it is possible that you may not be able to reverse it so let's say we click I'm gonna go ahead and click OK and the functional level is now raised successfully the new functional level will now be replicated to each Active Directory domain controller in the domain so the amount of time this will take varies depending on your replication topology so click on OK and let's refresh and let's go back into the forest domain again and right click and click on raise functional level again and as you can see current domain functional level is now windows server 2008 r2 close that you can also check by going into your powershell and make sure you always make sure you run your powershell as an administrator let's clear the screen to get to check the version of our domain functional level type get dash ad domain get dash ad domain and press enter And as you can see, we're now currently running Windows 2008 R2 mode. This is how you can check the functional level for your domain. Now, what about the forest? Let's check the forest level. So let's clear the screen. To check the forest level, type the same get dash ad forest. Okay, and press enter so we can see we have Windows 2008 forest so our forest mode is now Windows 2008 forest so so now we you can you, we can now see that we have Windows Server 2008 R2 so what if you want to use uh, PowerShell to raise our functional level you will you will notice that the next one we can raise to is Windows Server 2012 and 2012 R2 and then we can go to 2016. So let's go see how we can use PowerShell to raise our functional level. So right click on PowerShell and run, run as administrator. All right. Uh, before you do that, you may want to check the version, but we've already checked the version. So let's just go ahead and promote this server to server 2012 functional level 
type this code set dash ad forest mode space dash identity space and then in double quotation the domain name is techakin.com and then close the double quotation give a space then dash forest mode space dash windows 2012 forest so basically since we currently have the functional level as windows server 2008 r2 we are going to raise this tech Akin functional level to 2012 so go ahead and press enter and then you also have to confirm are you sure you want to perform this action i will accept and say yes and that's it there you go our domain functional level is now raised to windows server 2012 so the next thing to do is to also raise our domain level so we we'll just type in the code set dash ad domain mode identity techakin.com depending on your domain name then dash domain mode space windows 2012 domain and then we'll press enter you have to confirm next are you sure you want to perform this action i'll say yes and then press enter and there you go to verify that type get ad domain and then press enter so as you can see let's go back out let's scroll up all a little bit and as you can see now we have our domain mode is now windows 2012 domain so this is how to basically raise a functional level in windows server if you know of any other technique any other way that uh, that is different from these two examples comment below and let me know and then i'll see you next time